Well, despite the beaten down home builders, your next guest has five reasons why real estate is still a safe bet despite all this turmoil. Joining us is the aforementioned Hassam Naji. He is president and CEO at Marcus and Millichap. Hassam, thank you for joining us on set. We'd love to see Good you. Good morning. Here. It's my pleasure. So you just heard Steve talk about it. Yeah. How much do or does your sector, real estate, really matter in the short term when it comes to interest rates? It matters quite a bit. Interest rates are very important for the housing market, as you well know, and for commercial real estate, which is really our uh, area of specialization. Uh, the market is uh, really reflective of great fundamentals. You have good job growth. You, we have not seen overbuilding in this cycle of commercial real estate or housing. Uh, we have yields that are extremely compelling mm -hmm. and in a volatile environment, 5 to 6% yields in an asset class that is not headed for an overbuilding. And most importantly, we have an overleveraged commercial real estate. There's not a bunch of bad loans that are about to go off and create chaos. It's not in the 2007. That you don't have these, these, these by CMBSs, long CLOs, all those right. acronyms that we didn't know about, that we learned about the hard way. They've been lessened dramatically. By a long shot. And on top of that, when you look at commercial real estate now, whether it's offices, warehouses, hotels, apartment rentals, uh, you have a new capital flow coming yeah. from private clients, private investors that are coming into the industry for the first time. And interest rates are one of your five reasons by real estate. We're talking more about commercial real right. estate, by the way. Yep. One of the other reasons is the yield. The yield on the end. You buy commercial real estate because you want money back, right, through a lease or whatever exactly. it might be. Yields are still looking pretty good. They are. Uh, if you look at uh, the full spectrum of risk reward, whether it's the safety of, a, of an apartment rental building, which has the lowest yield, but you know, very good occupancies and more reliability on the, on the cash flow, mm -hmm. or a higher asset, a uh, higher risk asset like a hotel, for example, that has a little bit more volatility, the yield profile averages around five to 6%. In between all that, there is warehouses, there is self-storage uh, properties, there is uh, seniors well, by housing. By the way, can you just talk <laughs> about that? I want to go call an audible a second. Yeah. Self-storage yes. is popping up ev everywhere I go. There's a new <laughs> self-storage place. Why? because it's responding to great demand. And uh, it's a relatively small industry, but it's growing very rapidly. You have institutional capital coming into self-storage. You have institutional co uh, capital coming into manufactured homes, mobile home parks, basically. Uh -huh. So commercial real estate is far more than just office buildings. There's a variety of different subsectors that investors are discovering uh, where the uh, key points we we're just talking about, lack of overbuilding, lack of overleveraging, is really making commercial and real estate your, stand out. I saw your pinky, the fifth reason of your five, was that the positive impact of tax reform hasn't really made its way. That's absolutely correct. Why? Why not? And when? And how? So Lots the tax questions. reform was very positive for commercial real estate. A variety of provisions that, are, uh, that make commercial real estate investing uh, tax friendly. It's a tax friendly return which is another reason why there is more capital coming in. It takes a cycle or two of tax returns for the marketplace to really begin to focus on those benefits. So our clients just finished their 2017 taxes. Yeah. They haven't really uh, had time. And there's been a lot of confusion about some of the details of the provisions that are just now getting answered. So that's why, Brian.